I'm Shaheen Kabir. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Innovative Genomics Institute, and we use CRISPR-Cas9 as a major tool in our research. One of the incredible things about CRISPR-Cas9 is how versatile it is. People may be familiar with its gene editing functions, which is essentially when you can program CRISPR-Cas9 to cut anywhere in an organism's DNA and then make your desired change in that location. But what's really cool is that you can do more than just cut the DNA. One example is CRISPR-I, and that stands for the CRISPR inhibition. And in this case, instead of cutting the gene, you attach a protein onto Cas9 that can turn off the gene and stop it from having any effect. So for my work, I'm studying cancer cells that are resistant to existing chemotherapies. I want to see if inhibiting any genes will allow these cells to once again become susceptible to treatment. But there are 20,000 or so genes in the human genome, so how do I go about finding the few genes that might be involved? Enter CRISPR-Cas9. I can use CRISPR-I to systematically turn off each of the 20,000 human genes one at a time and then see which allows the cancer cells to be killed. Until now, this experiment would be virtually impossible, but with CRISPR-Cas9, it's really changed the way we can study cancer and potential therapies.